Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this more. Yeah, the sick oh. Hey, hey. Bon say to Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t t, -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there's this other guy, Lalo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then the next guy. He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motors safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning, they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. 
Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. She is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame. If they see this on a row, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it in one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful.
Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom. You got a moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away.
There's our winner. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys? You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Huh? Cheers. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe.
Yuma made that work easy to Tatami. When they started, started racing here 20 years ago, most guys didn't even make a cup of coffee. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed her where to that go. That wean that just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. Great race, Jim. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. Great race, Tom. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dope, that means you're safe. Hey, you seem calm. I've been asked by the LAPD to remind all race doers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. <laughs> Today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a you're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Doing some bad shit, Tom. All in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Where the hell he goes home to? Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties. Uh, home? Throw me home. Yeah. Maybe... Maybe that, yeah, good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I don't feel so good. <laughs> 